Wiss was started in 1848 by Jacob Wiss in Newark, New Jersey. Today, Wiss is recognized as the leading manufacturer of scissors, snips, and shears. The flagship product, the Wiss Compound Action Aviation Snip, is manufactured in Sumter, South Carolina, utilizing a proprietary investment casting process. This process is superior to forging, as it gives full control of material properties and consistency and allows dimensional precision not possible through forging. Dimensional accuracy is crucial because it permits the uniquely precise serrations found only on WIS snips. Competitors often tout their forged products, but in repeated tests, WIS snips, investment cast since 1979, consistently proved to have the longest life. The first step in manufacturing our unique WIS compound action aviation snips is the injection molding of the wax pattern. In order to produce high precision wax patterns, we have tight tolerances for the injection pressure, temperature, and injection cycle time. Once the wax blade is injected, it is inspected and assembled onto a tree mold using a custom designed Weller heating iron. The tree has been designed to maximize utilization and produce laminar flow during casting. The trees themselves are molded in-house and are produced from reclaimed wax. The wax tree then undergoes a series of dips and coatings, ranging from fine-grained silica, which controls the dimensions and details, to coarse-grained sand, which adds strength and stability to the mold. The coatings are placed onto the investment by automated rainfall sanders and fluid beds. After the mold has cured, it is placed into a custom-designed autoclave. The autoclave heats the ceramic mold to above 300 degrees Fahrenheit under high steam pressure. The autoclaving process evacuates the wax, which is reclaimed. Next, the ceramic shells are preheated to over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit for up to two hours. Preheating removes any organic particles, moisture, and residual wax and centers the mold, creating a high temperature shell to receive the molten metal. The hot ceramic shell is placed into a mold chamber which is seated into the molten metal. Once the mold chamber is placed into the molten metal, a vacuum is established pulling the molten up into the mold, filling the ceramic shell. Once the vacuum is released, any excess metal returns to the melting pot. Wisp snips are composed of a proprietary alloy which can only be achieved via our casting process. The unique casting method allows for scrap from other operations, such as the stamping of the handles, to be reclaimed and used in the casting. Core elements are added as necessary to ensure the right chemistry. Every casting run is analyzed on a mass spectrometer to ensure it meets with standards. After the casting cools, it is processed through a series of tumbling and finishing operations to separate the blade from the ceramic shell. After this point in the process, the blades are inspected. The blades from a lot are sent to heat treat. At the completion of heat treat, the product is tested. The entire lot will be scrapped if the hardness and load requirements are not met. The blades are then placed in a finishing mill. This process cleans the parts and imparts the time-tested WIS finish that is found on all of our compound action aviation snips and HVAC tools. The clean, hardened parts are then processed in the grinding department. The first grind produces the blade edge and profile. The second grind produces the heavy-duty serrations that separate WIS from the competition. The serrations hold the material to be cut in place, making cutting easier and more efficient. They also provide a clean cut free of jagged edges and burrs. WIS serrations are dependent on the unmatched dimensional accuracy produced from an investment cast part. The finished blades are then moved into the assembly area where they meet up with the handles. Also produced in our Sumter, South Carolina facility, the handles are stamped from sheet metal, utilizing progressive dies and a 250-ton press. The handle and blades are assembled utilizing state-of-the-art Clico electric fastening systems. The proper assembly of the free-floating WIS pivot bolt is a key component of the overall system. 
Poor quality pivot bolt design and improper assembly is a leading cause of snip failure. The WISP proprietary design allows for the proper clamp load to remain in place over time, preventing blade separation. The last step before packaging is the installation of the grips. WISS established the color system which allows end users to easily identify the snip they need even if it's in their tool belt. Yellow for straight cuts, red for left cuts, and green for right cuts. In addition to the rigorous production testing, WISS snips and their competitors are continually tested on our ASME compliant cut testing machine. One and one eighth inch strip metal is fed into the machine where it is cut. Each cut is monitored for initial force to cut, peak force to cut, and pass fail. Testing is no easy task as the WIS product cuts over three miles of steel. There are easier ways to produce metal cutting snips, but for the last 33 years, no one has found a better way.